CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and manage user accounts on your NVR or DVR. First, I'm going to right click, click Main Menu. It's going to prompt me to log into my admin user. I'm going to use the default graphical password to log in. And to manage user accounts, I need to go to the account section at the bottom right hand side. That's going to open up the account interface. And in here, I can see that I have the admin user that I just logged into, and it's assigned to the group admin. So in order to manage my users and their permissions, I need to click on the group tab. Instead of the group tab, you can see we have the admin group and the user group as shown in the user tab. And to modify the permissions for either of these groups, I need to click the pencil icon. You're going to usually want to leave the admin user group as default and allow it to have all of the permissions. That way you don't lock yourself out from any of the menus. So again, we're going to leave those as default. And then here in the user group is where you can create permissions for a separate user. So if you only wanted the user to be able to access camera settings or the system information settings, or just simply only wanted them to have manual control of a PTZ camera or motorized zoom lens, then you could only check manual control. On the search tab, you can specify which cameras you would like them to be able to play back video from. And then the live tab, you can choose which videos they should be able to live view. So again, on the system tab, these are the settings that the user has access to. So again, if you only want the ability for the person to control cameras, then you would leave manual control on. If you don't even want to allow them to control a camera's motorized zoom or pan tilt zoom, then you would simply uncheck manual control. Now this user group and any user created to this user group would have the ability to search for playback on all four channels or live view all four channels. I'm going to go ahead and click OK because that's all I want my user to do. So now, in order to create a user account under that user group, I need to go back to the user tab. In the user tab, at the bottom left hand side, there is an add button. In the add button, I can specify a username. We'll call this user1. You can enter in any name that you would like. And then I'm just going to enter in our default password for the sake of example. You can also add notes if you really want to here in the remarks section. And then down here you have a group where you can assign it to the user group. You can also assign a period of time that this user should be allowed to log in. So if there's only a handful of hours during the day that you want this particular user and this user group to log in, you can set that here. And then you're going to want to confirm the password that you entered in to create the user. And last but not least, you can assign a MAC address. This is an advanced setting for IT administrators if they only want a, this certain user only accessed from a certain MAC address on their network. Again, that's an advanced setting for IT administrators. So I'm going to go ahead and click the OK button. I've now created this user1 in the user group. Again, relating to the settings or permissions that I provided to them in the group setting for the user group. And again, you can add a uh, remark here or a note for this group. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm just going to go ahead and log out and log into that user1 to show you what it looks like. So we're going to click the little door icon and then click the log out button. To log into that user, I'm going to right click, click main menu. I'm going to click the switch user button. And then it brings down a drop down menu where I can select the user1. It's important to note that only the main admin user on a DVR or NVR can have a graphical password. Any additional users need to use the text-based password. So I've went ahead and logged into this user. Although it does bring up the main menu, if I went ahead and clicked on any of these, it's going to ask me or prompt me to log into the admin user. To get out of this prompt, I'm going to right click. And as you can see, anytime I try to click on any menu that I do not have permission for, it's going to prompt me to log into the admin user. So I'm going to right click, right click back out, right click back out, and 
I don't even have manual control enabled, so when I go ahead and try to access the PTZ menu, I'm also prompted to log in. But when I go to main menu and then search, I am able to see that there are recordings and I'm able to play back the recording from those days. Hopefully this video helps you set up and manage your user accounts on your NVR or DVR. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.